mga tappers, welcome back to the Art of Perfecting. If you're new to this channel, I'm Pam Perfecto. It's nice to meet you all. I create content about the cycling community, events out there, and anything lifestyle. So you guys might be wondering, I've never made a bike check review video for this Trek checkpoint. And I got this for quite some time already. So I purchased this last May and it's already August. So it's very interesting to know what I think about this bike. Stick around and find out, is the Trek Checkpoint actually a great gravel bike? Hmm. So some basic background about the Trek Checkpoint is that it comes in aluminum or carbon. And I chose aluminum for this model. And it comes in different colorways. And I chose the Euro white color. So this is the Trek Checkpoint ALR5 and it's made in Cambodia. You can see the fork is actually carbon but it still has those little holes for all of your gear that you want to carry. We've done a lot of things with this bike already. Bike packing. We tested out the capability of the racks and mounts of this bike. So we added on some decathlon bike bags and it was just fantastic all the way. love about aluminum is that it feels really sturdy so whenever I go through bumps it kind of absorbs all of the little gravel that I went through especially during my time in Nueva Ecija so it's a gravel event called unrestricted we did 80 kilometers with this bike we were going through all of the puddles all of the gravel it's just harsh conditions for the bike but at the end of it all, I checked the bottom bracket after the race and it was amazing to see how Trek sealed the bottom bracket. GRX. It's a mix of 800 and 600 and the cassette is a Shimano 105. So what I can say about the shifting is that I'm grateful that there's 2 by instead of a 1 by setup because I'm more used to a 2 by setup but it's really based on your personal preference. What I noticed at first because I'm coming from rim brakes with my road bike is that this one has disc brakes. It didn't have grip at first so I had to break the brakes in and feel that it's more responsive. So the smallest size for this one is a 49. So this is a 49. And what I love about it as well is the saddle that comes with it. It's one trigger because it's quite wide compared to other stock saddles. I don't have to change it anymore. I'm pretty comfortable with that. And you also have the handlebar. The handlebar is gravel specific. It's the GR Elite. So next we can talk about this is stock wheel set and the tires that come along with it. What do I think about it? It's not actually the most lightweight wheel set that I've tried here on earth, but it's very sturdy. That's what I can say. The true wing is good. So sometimes stock wheels, you can see that it's waving around, but this one is sturdy. It's solid. And then you can see that it's Bond Traeger paradigm. And that's actually what Bond Traeger was known for to begin with, their wheel sets. So it's a nice, good fact to know. And then it comes with the tires GR1 team issue. So it's not also the most lightweight tires, but it's very grippy. You can see that there are little knobs. It kind of resembles a small block eight for me because I've tried the small block eight before for a mountain bike. And it's cool to see that here. What I think about knobby tires is that it's going to retain all of the soil. But actually, when we were doing the Nueva Ecija race again, because that's one of the longest gravel races, off-road events that I've done actually. So I, a lot of my experience will come from that. It just wicks off all of the soil that came inside of it. So every time I pass by all of the sand, all of the dirt, it just wicks off and that's pretty cool. The price point. It's on point because for all of the things that you're getting, like the GRX group set, the brakes, the SDI, and you also have the crank set. 
for what it's worth, it's actually good for the price. So you can check it out online or your available authorized dealers. I'm not sponsored in any way in this video. I just want to share my experiences as a gravel rider because I did dream of having a gravel bike last year and the previous years because I only have a road bike and a mountain bike. And how does a gravel bike fare compared to those two bikes that I have? That's another thing. I am very comfortable in taking this in long rides because I do know that it's more versatile. Road bikes, you can fly through highways, national roads, and it's very speedy. But this one, it will take a little bit more time, but it's faster compared to a mountain bike, as I mentioned in my previous videos. All I need is the comfort that it gives me that I am able to control it and handle it properly. And what I can say about the tire clearance is that you can put 45 in this, which is quite wide, so you have a lot of space and versatility when it comes to the tires. Yeah, just the basics. You can just opt for thinner tires if you want faster rolling, if you want thicker tires for the grip and your going through technical routes then it's up to you in my previous episode the fantasy world ride we were going through 20 percent gradient up to 30 percent gradient and i was using the trek checkpoint it's not as light compared to my mountain bike and my road bike but what i love about it is that of course it's sturdy it looks good and when i was climbing I had better control on this bike compared to my road bike because it does have some slack compared to my road bike. And for gravel bikes, there's a spectrum between being more road bike or being more like a mountain bike. In my previous episode, we were talking about the GT Grade Carbon X, which is a beautiful gravel bike, which leans more into rugged MTP kind of style. But for this one, I feel like it's a flashier race gravel bike perfect for flat roads or a little climb that's not too technical. You're going to be really comfortable with this bike because it has more speed. I feel like my gravel bike is the one that I customize more compared to those two, especially that there are a lot of mounts. So it's fun for me to build my own gravel bike setup and also the handlebar bag. And you can see my bar tape is quite cute too. So in general, it's a pretty amazing bike for the price point and for how it looks and how it feels. Let me know what you guys think about this Trek Checkpoint, especially it's a 2023 model with the GRX already. Very exciting, right? So I want to hear your thoughts and what you guys want to see in our future content. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow on this journey to the art of perfecting. See you guys soon. Bye!